It's big and trick trivia time. Grab your friends and play it online. With Ali and Gina and Taco just for you. It's big and trick trivia time. And we'll feel it all right. All right, hello, happy Monday, everybody. Thank you for joining us. My name is Ollie with Bigatrix Entertainment. Thanks for being here on this Monday evening. We're gonna play some trivia here in just a couple minutes. Before we do, before we go any further, make sure if you haven't yet, you join our online game in addition to being here on YouTube. On here on YouTube is where you'll hear and see the questions, but in order to actually participate and have your answers graded, have a shot at winning some Taco Bucks and some prizes, you need to join our online game, it's very simple to do. Just open up any internet browser, go to online.bagatrix.com and enter in the code TRICKS, T-R-I-C-K-S. You can see it at the bottom of the screen here. If you clicked on the link from Facebook, you won't have to type anything in. It'll automatically bring you directly to this page, the login page. It's gonna ask you for three pieces of information. The first is your team name, your name, nickname, whatever you wanna call it. This is what everybody will see on the standings board. Uh, secondly, is the state that you're playing from if you're here in the states if you're in a different country let us know we just like to see where people are playing from and then last but not least is your bigatrix loyalty number this is optional but this is what you'll need if you do want to win taco bucks and turn those in for prizes if you have a number put it in if you don't click on the link in the description of this video you can sign up for the program it is free we assign you a number and then you get to load taco bucks every time you win either first second or third place for trivia uh, directly to your account and you can redeem them for some cool prizes that I will show you here in just a second either way no matter what once you have those pieces of information in click on go and you'll see this screen it says the game will begin shortly that means you're all set there's nothing else that you need to do just hang tight while we wait for people to join and I go over how we actually play this game so before we do that once again my name is Ollie with Bag of Tricks Entertainment thanks so much for being here my wife Gina's in the room and Taco is here finally calming down he was going to town biting these little squeaky monkeys earlier uh they'll be with me as long as taco doesn't act up and we will be with you through this entire general knowledge trivia event as i've mentioned we are playing for fun but we're also playing for prizes in the form of taco bucks it's the online bagatrix currency that you can use to redeem for real prizes like bagatrix merchandise pop culture merchandise beer and brewery merchandise and of course right in the center of the screen the framed and autographed photo of taco himself one of those and people are getting very very close to winning that i can't wait to see who he's gonna be. i know and then we'll have to replace it with another one and only prize maybe taco in a different pose i don't know we'll do something else once somebody gets that uh, no matter what you have to have a bigatrix loyalty program number to earn those taco books so make sure you signed up if you haven't um, tonight's game is sponsored by Downtime Coffee out of Lockport, Illinois. A small craft coffee roastery bringing you delicious single origin and soon to be blended coffee from around the world. So check them out currently on Instagram at Downtime Coffee. And soon you'll be able to sign up for their email list where you can find out first and foremost about the new coffees that they'll be roasting and make sure that you find out when you can get some. Thank you, Downtime Coffee, for supporting tonight's event. <laughs> uh, wow, Downtime Coffee. Wow, so best. great. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. Um, as I mentioned, this is general knowledge trivia. These questions will be about anything and everything. I just realized I need to change one thing before I say something different here. Ah, there we go. Uh, tonight's game is free to play, but if you feel so inclined, and a few of you already have, thank you. These links will be right down below me here. Venmo, PayPal, and Zelle. We accept any and all donations or tips you'd like to send. Thank you to those of you that have already sent those. Thank you to those of you that will send those. Um, those donations go a really long way. Excuse me while I adjust this. Uh, go a really long way towards allowing us to continue to put these events on for free. Um, obviously, we want to do this as long as humanly possible to keep you guys entertained, especially over the winter that's hitting right now. 
Um, but the platforms that we use, as I've said many times, unfortunately are not free. Um, so when you guys donate and you tip through the Venmo, PayPal, or Zelle links, it really, really helps us out and we really sincerely appreciate it. Um, thank you, Jess, for the donation tonight already. Thank you so much. Uh, and somebody just bought an ornament. There's stuff, I always forget to mention, we do have merchandise available on our website. Um, if you wanna pick something up before it's gone, we have ornaments for your Christmas tree, just a couple left. We have t-shirts, we have a few hoodies, we have pint glasses, and I don't mind with me tonight, um, that you can purchase directly through our website, and that also helps us out. So thank you to everybody supporting Vega Tricks in any and all ways. We really appreciate it, and like I said, we wanna be doing this for as long as we possibly can. We have no plans on going anywhere, uh, and you guys really help make that happen. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, let me flip over here. Tonight's game is general knowledge trivia, which means these questions are about anything and everything. Some of them will be simple, some of them will be tough, but they're all gonna be worth points. And what we're trying to do here is be the individual or the team at the end of the game with the most points. If you end up in first, second, or third, you'll win yourself some taco bucks. In order to do that, you have to answer the questions correctly. The first round of questions that we'll do tonight will be multiple choice. And what that means is I'll ask you a question and on your device, once I start the timer, you'll see four options appear on the screen. It will be A, B, C, and D. One of them will be the correct answer. Three of them will be incorrect. All you have to do is click on the correct answer and you're gonna earn up to 150 points. Now that point value that you earn is based not only on getting the question correct, but on how quickly you answer the question. That's only for the multiple choice round. So, once I start the uh, 25 second timer, you'll see not only the timer start to decrease, but the point value as well. Sooner you lock your answer in, the more points you'll earn if you are correct. However, you do wanna be careful because if you click an answer, you can't switch it. If you click on A, you're stuck with A. If you click on B, you're stuck with B, etc. So make sure you know what you're clicking before you just click on an answer. On the flip side, if you find a question that you have no idea what the answer is, take a guess because you don't lose any points if you're wrong. So you always have a one in four shot in this multiple choice round of at least guessing the correct answer and you don't lose anything if you're wrong. So it never makes sense to just leave it blank. Um, with all that said, we have general knowledge trivia, not just tonight, but we are also back on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central and on Friday at 7 p.m. Central. We'll have um, some more fun themed trivia coming up next week and the week following that. So make sure you've checked it out. Uh, the Bigatrix Facebook page is where we post all of that ahead of time. I'm sure most of you already follow it, but if you don't, facebook.com slash bagatrix. Uh, give it a like, give it a follow, and you'll find out about the events coming up. We're gonna be doing general knowledge trivia pretty consistently Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays for the foreseeable future um, with extra events thrown in. And last but not least, I'm gonna try to continue to remember to mention this, uh, if you are interested, especially during this holiday season, when we're not seeing people we typically would, or we're looking for something to do for our work party or our family get together virtually, hit us up for online trivia. We do online private trivia events for you and your family, your, your workplace family, your friends, anything like that we can host for you via Zoom or via YouTube like we do here. Um, so check that out. You can find all the info for that on our website. It's bigatricks.com. Um, or just shoot me an email, ali at bagatrix.com. I'm happy to help you out. I know some of you have already booked those events, so thank you so much for that support as well. Excited, excited, excited. If you're interested in that, I will give you uh, one warning. If you're looking to do something in December, I would reach out sooner rather than later because thankfully we are getting pretty booked throughout the entire month of December. We have a limited number of hosts that are doing this, uh, myself included. So if you're interested, please reach out sooner rather than later to try and get an event on the books for December Yay. or into next year. Um, so with all of that said, we are going to play trivia tonight right now. Uh, let's say hi to Taco one more time. Oh, Taco, every time. Every time. Sorry, bud. Um, we are going to get this started. So he was cleaning himself. Oh, you know, uh, like dogs do. All right. Um, here we go. First question coming up is a practice question, my friends. This one's not worth any points. So really no harm, no foul on this one if you're wrong. Just take a guess. This is uh, just for those of you who may never have played trivia before. You're going to see this question and you're going to learn how the system works before we get into the real question. So as you can see right now, here's the question. The timer hasn't started, so you don't see the answer options just yet. Here we go. What is the name of your host today? That is me. This is your practice question. What is the name of your host today? Is it Neil, Alex, Ali, or Getty? 
What is the name of your host this evening? Uh, who's out here? Hey, Steph Curtis, Christiane, Lindsay, welcome. Jedi, Kim Wheatley, Matt Whalen, Mert Whirlin, what's up? Hey, Amy Griffin, Kathleen, welcome. Been looking forward to this all day. You and me both. Hey, Jess. Uh, sad you missed Friday because you... Oh, that's not completely on you. The time does switch sometimes. Um, but yeah, 7 o'clock for the foreseeable future. Uh, at least this week is all 7. Uh, hey, John J. Jen Sterna, welcome. Michelle Korn, welcome back. Hey, Amy. Sarah, what's up? Hey, Chris. Sponsored by Down to Clown Coffee. Rich Hansen, let me know how it is. Uh, he is a... Uh, customer of downtime coffee or so i hear from the guys at downtime coffee um hey mary beth lens welcome 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 al sakura what's up man uh all right everybody's in thank you for being here if you're new to the channel you can chat on youtube say hello to everybody out there in the community hello. uh two people said neil and alex three people said getty 28 people said ali which is the correct answer Again, this one wasn't worth any points, so don't feel bad if you didn't answer Ali, because it didn't matter. But if you had answered Ali and this was worth points, you would have got some. So here we go. Now we're on to the real questions. Some of these are simple, some of these are tough, but they're all worth 150 points apiece. The pictures and the gifts that you see there, just like you see Getty and Neil here, they're just there for fun. They're not meant to be a hint or a tip. They're just there for you to enjoy throughout the game. So question number two, what sign of the zodiac is represented by a bull? What sign of the zodiac is represented by a bull? Is it Taurus, Libra, Sagittarius, or Leo? Oh. Yeah, Crystal set up Maribeth so she's in the chat. Welcome, welcome, oh, welcome. Happy. Yeah, that's awesome. Somebody's awake now. Oh. <laughs> Gotta switch this. All right, everybody's in. Let's see. Okay, that's a double social. Every single person got it right. Taurus, you guys know your zodiac signs. Cheers, everybody. Two drinks for this first question. Y'all got right. I think you just got a little furball. All right. Question number three. Which of the following options was the first in the series of Mario Kart racing games? Which of the first... Which of the following was the first in the series of Mario Kart racing games? Was it Mario Kart 64, or Super Mario Kart, Mario Kart Wii, or Mario Kart DS? Everybody's in. Let's take a look. We went one of two ways here. 13 people said Mario Kart 64. Uh, 24 people said Super Mario Kart. Uh, and that is the correct answer. Super Mario Kart. Back on the cartridges. Uh, I guess 64 was a cartridge too. Um, but Super Mario Kart, the correct answer. Good job, 24 of you got that right. Question number four. Some WWF trivia when it was wwf before wwe which classic wwf wrestler carried and displayed his own million dollar championship belt as part of his millionaire gimmick which wwf wrestler carried his own million dollar championship belt was it rick rude ted dibiase davy boy smith or rick flair I, this this gif is giving me nostalgia, like hardcore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bring me back. Chris says everybody's got a prize. Everybody's got a prize. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure I... I don't know if I had the steel cage, but I had probably all of those wrestlers. All right. So everybody's in. You guys, again, went one of two ways. 18 people said Ted DiBiase. 20 people said Ric Flair... That is Nature Boy, Ric Flair. We're looking for the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase. Ted DiBiase, the correct answer. So good job, 18 of you got that right. Yeah, Matt, we probably had the same one. 
Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. <laughs> All right, question number five. Uh, Will Forte starred in what Saturday Night Live parody of the 80s TV show MacGyver? Will Forte was in what Saturday Night Live parody of MacGyver? Was it McGabber, McGruber, McGardle, or McGoffle? Remember the Benedict Cumberbatch question? That's like my favorite question I've written. Bulbasaur candy gram. Yeah. Oh. That was you the second time. All right, everybody's in. Two people said McGabber. 36 people said McGruber. And 36 people were correct. 95% of you. That's a social. Cheers, everybody. Great job. Off to a great start. All right. We're going to take a look at the standings for the very first time. So let's see where we're at after four real questions. Taco Libre is in first. Rich H55 is in second. Case of the Mondays in third. Sorella Sand in uh, 13th. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong spot there. Uh, Team Cream is in fourth. Fuller, go easy on the Pepsi in fifth. We need to watch Home Alone. Uh, Brad and Krista in fifth. Uh, tied with Fuller, go easy on the Pepsi. Scrim Shanker in seventh. Lindsay in eighth. Secret Salamander in ninth. First Responders Rock in tenth. Hasera in eleventh. Emily in twelfth. Sorella Sand in thirteenth. The Angelicas, Artie and Winnie in fourteenth. A whole numero uno tied in fifteenth with Margarita Monday. Mert Whirlin in 17th, Lightning Thunder Eat Crap in 18th, Team Name in 19th, Jedi Snips in 20th, Russian Embassy Suites in 21st, Jen Sterna in 22nd, SF Curtis in 23rd, It's Over Bananakin in 24th, The Spice to Meet the Balls in 25th, Albin in 26th, The Corns in 27th, Memphis Reigns in 28th, Ah, ooh, Werewolves in Lockdown in 29th, Hail to the Victors in 30th, Something's Cuddling in 31st, Tolkas in 32nd, Sambuca and Salsa in 33rd, Let's Get Quizzical in 34th, JMO in 35th, Oki in 36th, Mama Lens in 37th, and The Not Rights currently in 38th. But as you all know, this is the very, very beginning of the game and everything can and will probably change. Lots of points out there still. So don't give up hope if you're not at the top. Here we go go question number six the sport bandy the sport bandy is played on what type of surface the sport bandy is played on what surface is it grass wood ice or clay All right, everybody's in. Let's take a look. Two people said grass, 10 people said wood, 12 people said clay, 13 people said ice. So this is very, very close all around. The correct answer is ice. C was the correct answer. Ice bandy is a sport very similar to ice hockey, but uh, bandy is played with a ball. Bandy is played, I believe, with 11 people on each side. Um, and the rink is a bit bigger than an, a standard ice hockey rink. So now you know, bandy. Mo bandy. All right, question number seven. What song from the South Park Bigger, Longer, and Uncut movie soundtrack was nominated for Best Original Song at the 1999 Academy Awards? Which song from Bigger, Longer, Uncut was nominated for Best Original Song at the 1999 uh, Academy Awards? Was it? Mountain Town, Blame Canada, What Would Brian Boitano Do, or Burn It Blue? <laughs> Christian. <laughs> It 
Am I making up sports to troll you? That fun one. I'm trying to slip one past. Uh, eight people said, what would Brian Boitano do? One person said, burn it blue. 27 people said, blame Canada. Which was the correct answer. Sorry, Christiane. I didn't write the song. Blame Canada is the correct answer. Uh, question number eight. We love Canada. Yeah, we do. The popular MTV program Headbangers Ball aired every Saturday night in the late 80s and early 90s. Who was the show's main host from 1990 to 1995? Was it Adam Curry, Ricky Rockman, Kevin Seal, or Dee Snyder? Blame Canada was performed by Robin Williams. I didn't know that. Was it just that just at the Academy Awards, or did he always sing it? Oh yeah, at the Academy Awards. Wait, no, he always sang it. Yeah, at the Academy Awards. There it is. Nice. All right, everybody's in. I'm gonna watch that later. Eight people said Adam Curry. Five people said Kevin Seal. Twelve people said Ricky Rockman. Thirteen people said D. Snyder. Thirteen people were wrong. It was Ricky Rockman. Twelve people got it right. Good job. That's question eight. Question number nine. Uh, what river forms Washington, D.C.'s border with Virginia? What river forms Washington, D.C.'s border with Virginia? Oh... All right, is it the Washington River, the Potomac River, the Delaware River, or the Chesapeake River? I almost said Cheapskate River. It looks like Cheapskate. Right? Yeah. Ah, oh, shit, another water border question. <laughs> How do I get myself into this? It's just always on my mind, I guess. Yeah, this is a specifically water border question. <laughs> I never learn. That's right. Uh, the correct answer, pretty much everybody got it. 34, 92% of you, a big old social, said the Potomac. Cheers, everybody. Great job. Question number 10. We have two multiple choice questions left. Uh, a 2002 movie. What 2002 movie? What 2002 movie stars Richard Gere as a researcher looking for uh, a mythical creature I was drunk writing this maybe uh, a mythical creature from West Virginia said to have red eyes, large wings, and fur covering its body what 2002 movie stars Richard Gere as a researcher looking for a mythical creature from West Virginia was it Chupacabra, a Bigfoot, Mothman, or Mountain Man Everybody's in. Three people said Chupacabra. One person said Bigfoot. Four people said Mountain Man. And 30 people. Apparently, this monster has been sighted at O'Hare a couple times. Really? Yeah, Mothman. Mothman. Just recently, it was in the news. Okay, all right. Never seen him, thankfully. Cool. Uh, final multiple choice question is this one, number 11. Which of the following is not a major studio album released by Oasis? Which of the following is not a major studio album released by Oasis? Heathen Chemistry, Definitely Maybe, Dig Out Your Soul, or Cigarettes and Alcohol? Thank you, Therese, for the donation. Just saw that. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, everybody's in. This one's 
A little tough. Wow. Yeah, this has been a tough multiple choice round. Um, 10 people said heathen chemistry. Seven people said definitely maybe. 10 people said dig out your soul. 10 people said cigarettes and alcohol. This one's a little tough because cigarettes and alcohol is the name of a song by Oasis, but it is not the name of an album. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Yeah. C cigarettes and alcohol. All right. That is the final multiple choice question. So let's get at the standings once again. Currently in first, Rich H55, but just ahead of Fuller. Go easy on the Pepsi. Scrimshanker right there in third. Everybody else, take a look, see where you're at. We'll get into the next round here in just one second. All right. Let me get the next round set up. Oh, this is a fun one. All right. As I mentioned, this was the multiple choice round, but now we're done with the multiple choice round. What's going to happen from this point on is I'll still ask you a question. You'll have a second to read the question, hear it along with me. And then I'm gonna start your timer just like before. But the difference is now when I start the timer, you won't see four options appear on your screen. You're gonna see a text box and you have to type your answer in. So just by that fact alone, these questions are gonna be a little bit tougher because you're not gonna have four options to just choose from. You have to come up with the answer all on your own. Don't Google, don't look these up, don't ask Alexa for assistance. Please keep this fair and honest so we're all having the same amount of fun. Um, but with that said, as long as you get the answer in before time runs out, you're going to earn all of the points, 250 points per question. And the next five questions all come from the same category. This is a mini bonus round. Uh, five questions from the same category. We're still going to just do one at a time. This first round is about TV, television, TV shows, how it's going to work. I'm going to give you a list uh, between three to four or five. Yeah, four or five, it looks like every time. Uh, four or five characters and you have to name the TV show they're all from so some of these are really simple I think uh, as long as you've watched TV before uh, and some of these are gonna be pretty tough you will have to have seen this show and know it um, to get this correct so I'm looking for the name of the show based on the characters listed um, 250 points a piece some of these simple some of them hard you don't lose any points if you're wrong still so take a guess here we go question number Twelve. Name the show with these characters: Archie, Betty, Veronica, Jughead, and Reggie. Oh, Reggie, what a cutie! Is there anyone in that list that's not a freaking cutie? No, that is a very, very cute list. That's your list right there. You're set. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> yeah. Next time we go over a list, here it is. Boom, end it, Rich said. <laughs> that setup you thought it'd be TV brand. Yeah, I'm going to show you a TV. Tell me what brand it is. Sony, LG, Lenovo. I, that's, what else? Lenovo. Samsung, Hitachi? I don't know. <laughs> what even brands are there? TCL. That's what we have. Uh, everybody's in here. Heart, 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 Jughead. Ooh. Oh shit, I know this. Somebody said Riverdale, what a masterpiece. Looking for the name of the TV show. Uh, the correct answer is Riverdale. Video, yeah, Riverdale. Uh, so good job, 62% of you. And that one was a little tough. So let's see how you do with this one. Name the TV show with these characters Xander, Willow, Giles, Tara, and Faith. What TV show would you find? Xander, Willow, Giles, Tara, and Faith. Everybody's in. Some WB nonsense. Buffy. Team Spike. Out for a walk. Bitch. 
sorry. Buffy. I don't think I missed any here. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the correct answer. Good job, everybody. 67% of you, just about the same amount as the last one. Uh, question number 14. Name the TV show with these characters. It's a little tougher. Gabby, Susan, Lynette, Bree, and Edie. What TV show featured five characters? Gabby, Susan, Lynette, Bree, and Edie. I watched every episode of this. You like this show, yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember this was like one of the first shows that used high def oh, really? cameras and like certain someone's plastic surgery is very obvious. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> and she was perfect. Lois Lane. Huh. They're real and they're spectacular. Uh the correct answer here. <laughs> oh, it's close. The correct answer is Desperate Housewives. Yeah, none of these are like um, crazy shows that nobody's heard of. You just may not have seen them yourself. Uh, but all of these were, were and are still pretty gigantic shows I mean, on TV. On. Yeah, Riverdale's yeah. still on, and it's one of the most watched shows, at least by certain age segments. In the taco. Yeah, <laughs> Taco loves it. Uh, question 15. Made a TV show with these characters. Prue, Paige, Piper, Phoebe, and Leo. What TV show would you see Prue, Paige, Piper, Phoebe, and Leo? I like the here. College flashbacks. All right, everybody's in. <laughs> Not friends, apparently. Uh, don't know a great British baking show. That's a good guess. Uh, some witch show. Orange is New Black does have a piper. This is Charmed. Mm -hmm. Charmed, 60% of you. <laughs> Almost put Shannon Doherty witch show. Yes, that is correct. All right, one more. Name the TV show with these characters. John, Daenerys, Sansa, Arya, and Cersei. Sarah, you out there? You think you can get this? She's here. John, Daenerys, Sansa, Arya, and Cersei. Somebody didn't like it. Game of Thrones, boo. Uh, Ted DiBiase, Million Dollar Man, yep. Uh, Game of Thrones seasons one through six, yep. Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones, thumb down. Question, question, Xena. Arya is in Pretty Little Liars. Never seen that. Never seen any of these shows. Oh, Amy, you have a lot of TV watching to do. All right, correct answer is Game of Thrones. Ah, Sarah, I'm here, but I know nothing. As long as you're drinking drinking no nothing all right everybody's uh done with this round seems like some people didn't enjoy it because you didn't know them well tv's out there for you to watch now you got some shows to check out next time you're looking for a show and you maybe you'll do better on these ones next time i don't know i don't even know where to go with it for, currently in first is team cream currently in second a whole numero uno in third first responders rock everybody else take a look see where you're at we'll get into the next round in just a second it has I mean, I guess technically you can see it on TV, but it's not a television round, so don't worry. Amy, you watch a lot of TV, I feel you. Alright, well, on to the next round. This is another mini bonus round, which just means that all these questions come from one category. Though, we will do one at a time, just like we did before. This has nothing to do with uh, <laughs> the last round. It's a new round all on its own, and it's a picture round. For this one, I'm going to show you a picture and ask you to identify something based on that picture. 
uh, for all the people that were excited about the last round, uh, here's something else to not like. It's a sports round. It's a sports round. So uh, I'm going to show you, we've done this round before with not these options. I'm gonna show you a logo of a famous basketball team. NBA was on my mind today. I'm gonna to show you a logo of a basketball team with any identifying words removed. And you just have to tell me what basketball team we're looking at. You can just give me the name of the team, the city, the state, um, unless there happens to be two there. Uh, but otherwise, just give me the name of the team based on the logo. You're still not losing points if you're wrong, so take a guess. Here we go. Number 17, name this NBA team by their logo. Who are we looking at here? Maggie Wimps here. Hey, Maggie. Hey, Maggie. And Addison says we are late. Hey, Maggie and Addison, I'm guessing. All right, everybody's in. And most of you got this, 78% of you to be specific. This is the Orlando Magic. The Orlando Magic. All right, question 18, name. Wow, well, this is, gives away a lot more than I meant to. It's supposed to be on a white background. Uh, name this team by their logo. <laughs> this is a sports question for Angelicus. I had one job. You're right, Jen. One job. I failed. Guys, let me just let you know there are still people that didn't get it. So it doesn't mean it was perfectly gettable. It was just a little bit easier than I meant it to be. Is gettable a word? Sure, why gettable. Not? gettable. Uh, the correct answer is the Utah Jazz. The Utah Jazz. The Music Note A7s. Yes, Mr. Rice Krispie. Yellow knife on my first. Uh, number 19. Name this NBA team by their logo. This might be the toughest one. Name the NBA team by their logo. All right, everybody's in. Somebody got very specific. The Wizards, formerly the Bullets. Yes, that gets points, of course. I'll even take the Bullets. Washington Wizards. Washington Rick Wizards. Good job. All right, question number 20. Name this NBA team by their logo. Who are we looking at? Was it a crispy social? Oh, I missed it because Gina's getting me another drink. But cheers. Thanks for catching that, Jess. Thanks, Chris, for inspiring it. I'll take a drink of my old espresso. Delicious. Lay down. All right, everybody's in. This is not California, it's not the Warriors, Florida, or the Spurs. This is the Phoenix Suns. If you just put Phoenix or just put Suns, that's fine. You got points. Phoenix Suns. All right, one more. Question 21. Name the NBA team by their logo seen here. Who are we looking at? <laughs> Jen, <laughs> my head on Taco's body. That's fun. <laughs> this is what we're here for. This is the content we need on the internet. All right, everybody's in. 
It is, <laughs> somebody said the Texas Horsies, and I like that a lot. Uh, it's the Dallas Mavericks, the Dallas Mavericks. Taco, that is too close of a close-up. Okay, that's good too. All right, that's the final question in this round. So let's take a look at the standings. Currently in first, Emily, Rich H55, back in the second, Jen Sterna in third, Team Cream in fourth, Fuller Go Easy on the Pepsi in fifth. Everybody else, take a look, see where you're at. <laughs> Taco. We're going to get into the next round here in just a second. Okay, careful, 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 careful. Is that for him? <laughs> okay, buddy, here. Come on. Oh, up, 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 up. There you go. Somebody got a treat. All gone. Lay down. All right, we're gonna get into the final round here in just a second. These are just random questions. So very uh, similar to the first round in that it's 10 questions about anything and everything, but these questions are worth 300 points a piece and you're not going to have multiple choice options. So just like before, I'll be asking you a question. It could be about anything, it could be simple, could be tough, but they're worth 300 points a piece. And again, as I just mentioned, there's no multiple choice options. So we'll do one at a time. We'll take a look at the standings again after just a couple of these. Um, here we go. Question 22. Emma Watson is known for playing which character in the Harry Potter films? Emma Watson, known for playing which character in the Harry Potter films? Lindley Lohan. Yeah, leave it to me to make the first question something that's super easy to spell. Um, so as long as you gave me her first name, you didn't need first and last, but if you gave me both, that's okay too, obviously. Uh, Hermione, her, my, me. I like that phonetic. Uh, Hermione, clearly don't watch, read this. Hermione, yeah, close. Uh, this just gave me flashbacks to Victor Crumb. Hermonini, Hermonini. <laughs> Hermione is the correct answer. Hermonini. Dumbledore. I know. All right, uh, good job. Every single person got it, so that's a double social. That's two drinks. Cheers, everybody. Question number 23. Which U.S. president made the first presidential radio broadcast? Which president, the United States, gave us the first presidential radio broadcast? Everybody is in. Let's see. Ten people said FDR. Ten people said Coolidge. More people said FDR. Cool. Correct answer is Calvin Coolidge. Because he's super cool. Calvin Coolidge. All right. Question number 24. The Principality of Monaco, Monaco? Jesus, I am <laughs> drinking. Uh, the prince, I know. The Principality of Monaco is a sovereign city state bordered on three sides by which country? Monaco bordered on three sides by which country? <laughs> Jesus Christ. We love you. Monaco. We love you a lot. Was this raccoon in the broadcast? I think so. You could hear, uh, what was, was it? It wasn't Becky, right? I know. Uh, Rebecca. Yeah, so I guess it could be Becky. You can hear Rebecca the raccoon in the background.
Go home. Good thing I'm already home. Banaka. It makes me want banaka. Does it? <laughs> yeah. Remember when everybody had banaka? Banaka, yeah, yeah. Was that um, in Dumb and Dumber? It wasn't banaka. It was like a... That was like banaka, yeah. right? I think so. Remember the Listery tongue strips? When those were super I popular? I love those. Yeah. All right, anyway... <laughs> Uh, I mean, I could use them now. Okay. <laughs> no, the correct answer is France. Or should I say Francais? Uh, France. Monaco, Monaco, France. <laughs> if you were in a 90s sitcom and you spritz Banaka, someone was getting a kiss whether they liked it or not. We come from France. Oh, to be a conehead. Um, I saw, you know, we had the Riverdale session earlier. Yeah. I saw video of KJ and Camilla, so Archie mm -hmm. and Veronica, before ev now because of COVID, before every makeout scene, they have them with three for like a minute, the video. Oh my god. It must be nice for them though. Yeah. Like fresh. <laughs> Question 25. Bruce Banner turns into what fictional superhero when he becomes angry? Bonsoir. Everybody's in. Uh, so every single person got this. This is another double social. So we've had a couple hard rounds, but we've, all, we've also had, I think, four questions that every single person's gotten correct. So cheers, everybody. Great job. The Hulk! That's my secret. I'm always angry. Feel that one. All right, let's take the standings. Currently in first, Fuller Go Easy on the Pepsi. Second, Sorella Sand. In third, the Angelica is already in. Winnie, everybody else, take a look. Bye. See where you're at. Christiane, I, I knew you'd get... The, I saw you playing uh, the Avengers game recently. I haven't played that one yet, uh, but I am thinking about playing uh the switch avengers game as soon as i'm done here ultimate alliance new ultimate alliance newish ultimate alliance ragnarok is such a good film becky all right here we go we have just six questions left so let's pitter patter get at her Question 26. Which major battle of World War II started on August 23rd, 1942 and was fought in what is now the city of Volgograd? Which major famous battle of World War II started August 23rd, 1942, fought in what is now the city of Volgograd? Everybody's in. This is the one in Wonder Woman. Uh, I say what Chris B says. I know he knows this one. Uh, at the time, it was the Battle of Stalingrad. The Battle of Stalingrad. Peter Patter, let's get at her. All right, good job. 37% of you. This is a tougher one. Uh, question 27. Originally a Viking fishing village, Copenhagen became the capital city of what country? Copenhagen is now the capital city of what country?
everybody's in. Two people said Copenhagen is the capital of Copenhagen. Uh, the correct answer is Denmark. Copenhagen is the capital of Denmark. All right, question 28. Traditionally, tra this fucking gif, I forgot I put that. Traditionally, the term caviar refers to the salt cured roe of which fish? Traditionally, if you're eating caviar, you are eating the salt cured eggs or roe of which specific fish? Um, Becky, I think it was John H. who answered twice that way. Yeah, John H. did that twice in a row <laughs> last time. <laughs> Sarah, I haven't watched Vikings yet, but it's on my list of shows to watch. All right, everybody's in. Somebody said, ew, why would you want to eat that anyways? Ah, it's delicious. The correct answer is sturgeon. Sturgeon. Caviar. Myanmar. Mid-sized car. <laughs> Pinot Noir. All right, I'm going to watch that as soon as trivia is done. Uh, so good job. If you put sturgeon, you got points here. Question 29. Jackson Pollock was an influential abstract expressionist painter from what country? Jackson Pollock. An influential abstract expressionist painter from what country? Everybody's in. Not France, not Poland, not New Zealand, not the Netherlands, not Germany, not Canada, not Germany, uh, or Germany. <laughs> Nobody spelled Germany right. Uh, but I blame your phones. Trust me, I'm not blaming you. The correct answer is the USA. Uh, Jackson Pollock, right here in the good old US of A. More art questions? Jen, I'll keep that in mind. We'll get some more art questions soon. All right, two questions left. Number 30. Which U.S. state has the nickname Land of 10,000 Lakes? Which state in the good old United States is nicknamed the Land of 10,000 Lakes? I feel like this is a trick, Christiane. Yeah, you know. Sometimes I got to ask about good old people from the United States, too. <laughs> I think the only other one um, that I've done that, what's the Georgia O'Keeffe? I always, I like to ask, like, where's Georgia O'Keeffe from? Right here. Uh, everybody's in Minnesota. Minnesota, eh? Minnesota, which I 10,000 disagree with should be Wisconsin. Uh, one person put Michigan. One person put M. Uh, it's Minnesota. Minnesota. Good job. 92% of you. Cheers, everybody. All right, we have one question left. Question 31. What's the last question? Penicillin was discovered in 1928 by which Scottish scientist? Who discovered penicillin in 1928? Dr. Penicillin. Uh, Fleming, and for the record, I'm allergic. Boo. Yeah, I was always worried that I was secretly allergic to it. it turned out okay. Uh, Jerry Springer. Yep. Um, Dr. Penicillin. Uh, McGruber. Nice throwback. Groundskeeper, Willie. No, another famous Scott. Uh, the correct answer is Sir Alexander Fleming. 
Fleming the correct answer here. However you spelled it, as long as it said Fleming. If all we could do is sports and medical questions, that'd be great. Sure, Kathleen, we can do that. Um, all right, that's it. That's the last question tonight. So all we have left to do is look at the standings. But before we do, um, I just want to give you guys an update. I know a lot of you participated in uh, trivia we did recently for the Dawn Center Rescue um, for uh, dog uh, fostering and, and um, sheltering. Um, so I got an email from them today, and it's a good thing. They just emailed to say they've gotten a lot of good feedback. They when we did that event, they raised over a thousand dollars the day of the event. And then they actually, over the next week, just because people were talking about it, they raised another thousand dollars. They raised $2,000, um, which, you know, whatever $2,000 is, what they said is that that allows them to not have to shuffle the dogs this winter between foster homes. So with the money that you guys help raise, we were able to keep all of these dogs where they are uh, and pay for everything that they're gonna need over the winter. Yeah, so it's very good, and I know a lot of you participated, so I wanted to give you an update. And I did want to let you know, too, they're looking at doing another event um, in the next few months to raise money for the next coming months. Um, so thank you guys so much to those of you that participated. We have a lot of fundraisers coming up. Uh, and again, I know we can't all participate in every one of them, but I'll be posting them on our Facebook page. Um, so you know, if there's one that you're interested in, please, please participate, come out. We always have fun um, with those. And the more of you from our... Um, you know, our community here that join us for those online fundraisers. It makes it more fun for everybody and helps us raise money for great causes. So thank you guys for everything that you've done over the last eight, nine months now, um, raising money for these great organizations. I will say, we haven't updated this in a while, but I think that with uh, this event and the last two or three that we've done since March, we've raised over $50,000 for charities. Um, and obviously that's a lot of different charities. It's not $50,000 for one place, but you guys um, here with Bag of Tricks have allowed us to, to help raise money for these events and these organizations that were shit out of luck to be completely just you know, fair about it. Um, people can't be hosting their fundraising events that they typically would do in person. Um, so you guys showing up to these online events means a lot, not just to me to have some fun, but to these organizations to the tune of $50,000 um, in the last nine months. So thank you guys so much for being there and doing that. Uh, and I'm looking forward to, you know, doing this as long as we have to uh, until we can start having some fun in person again. Oh. So with that said. Uh, Jeff said he gave him Cody a ride to go to the That's okay. okay. Uh, let me check the standings. It, okay, it will have made a little bit of a difference. That's okay. All right, everybody's in. And let me just fix that for what Jess said. Da, 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 da. Ah. All right, everybody's in. Here are the final standings tonight. If you're in first, second, or third, you're winning yourself some Taco Bucks. In first, Sorella Sand by just 30 points over <laughs> Sarah. And the Angelica's already in. Winnie, uh, we got your message. I changed those points, and you're still in third place there. Uh, Rich H55 in fourth. Fuller Go Easy on the Pepsi in fifth. DeCorns in sixth. Scrimshanker in seventh. Emily in eighth. A whole numero uno in ninth. And Memphis Reigns in tenth. Congratulations, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your support. We will see you on Wednesday, 7 p.m. for more general knowledge trivia. And then Friday, 7 p.m., Angelica's, for more trivia. This week, everything's at 7. And then we'll have more events next week, including a theme trivia night, um, which we will announce soon. But I will say it is a trivia night over a show that will be leaving Netflix at the end of the year. So figure that out if you will. And then we have Harry Potter trivia coming up on the 14th of December, sponsored by the Fountaindale Public Library. Until then, oh, until Wednesday, my friends, thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Be safe. Have a good night. Wash your hands. Wear your masks. Oh, Taco wants to say.